Hello everyone, welcome to High School Mathematics channel. Today we are going to learn class 7 chapter 5 triangles unit exercise. See now first one, how many right angles exist in a triangle? Solution, only one right angle can exist in a triangle. See now question number 2, which is the longest side in triangle XYZ having right angle at Z. Let us see the solution. In triangle XYZ, angle Z is equal to 90 degrees. We know in a triangle, the side opposite to the largest angle is longest side. So, from the triangle, XY is the longest side. Therefore, XY is the longest side in triangle XYZ. See now question number 3 is the sum of any two angles of a triangle always greater than the third angle. Give examples to justify your answer. Let us see the solution. We have taken a triangle ADI. Angle A equals to 70 degrees. Angle D equals to 50 degrees. Angle I equal to 60 degrees. We have taken. Now let us take sum of two angles that is angle A plus angle D that equals to 70 plus 50 that equals to 120 degrees which is greater than the third angle I that is 60 degrees. So 120 degrees is greater than 60 degrees. Therefore we can say angle A plus angle D that is greater than the third angle that is angle I. Now we have taken other two angles that is angle D and angle I. So, sum of angle D and angle I is 50 plus 60 degrees that equals to 110 degrees which is greater than third angle that is angle A 70 degrees. That is 110 degrees is greater than 70 degrees. Therefore, angle D plus angle I is greater than third angle that is angle A. Now, we have taken sum of angle A and angle I that equals to angle A 70 degrees plus angle I 60 degrees. 70 plus 60 that is 130 degrees which is greater than the third angle that is angle D 50 degrees. That is 130 degrees is greater than 50 degrees. Therefore, angle A plus angle I greater than third angle that is angle D. By this example we observe that yes sum of any two angles of a triangle is always greater than the third angle. See now question number 4. Choose any three measures. From the following to make three different triangular wooden frames that is 11 meters, 9 meters, 3 meters, 7 meters and 5 meters. Let us see the solution. We know that in a triangle sum of any two sides is greater than the third side. So we have taken three different measures and written in this way. First one 3 meters, 5 meters and 7 meters. Let us see another example 3 meters, 7 meters and 9 meters. And next one 3 meters, 9 meters and 11 meters. All these three examples sum of any two sides will be greater than the third side. These measurements we can take to make different triangular wooden frames. See now question number 5. Write any two possible measurements to be suitable for the following triangles. First one is right angle triangle. Here we have taken example triangle ABC. See here in triangle ABC we have taken angle A is 40 degrees, angle B is right angle that is 90 degrees and angle C is 50 degrees. Next side AB is 4 cm and BC is 5 cm and CA is 7 cm. So we have written two possible measurements for the example triangle ABC. See now fifth question second one. Obtuse angle triangle. Here we have drawn triangle DEF which is an obtuse angle triangle. In triangle DEF angle D equals to 20 degrees, angle E equals to 120 degrees and angle F equals to 40 degrees we have taken. Let us see another set of measurement that is side DE equal to 4 cm, EF equal to 6 cm and FD equals to 9 cm. See now fifth question third one acute angle triangle we have drawn triangle XYZ in triangle XYZ angle X equal to 40 degrees angle Y equal to 60 degrees and angle Z equal to 80 degrees we have taken other possible measurements 
that is side xy equal to 4 cm, side yz equal to 6 cm and xz equal to 5 cm we have taken. Today we have seen chapter 5 triangles unit exercise 1 to 5 sums. In our next video we shall see remaining sums of unit exercise. Hope you are like this video. If you like this video please like, share to your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.